Now, in this section, we are going to talk about milk and milk safety. Remember that a smallholder farmer has an objective to keep dairy cows that will produce clean and safe milk for his or her consumption and also for the consumption of the public. Milk safety comes in as a key consideration when a farmer is keeping dairy cows. Now we ask ourselves, why is it this important? Milking and milk safety is important because a farmer will need to make sure that the, farm, the, the, the milk that is produced by the animals is safe and the farmers and those who consume the milk enjoy the milk with, with the high levels of, uh, of quality. We look at a number of things that need to be done when talking about milk and milk safety. First of all, what should be done to ensure that during the process of getting milk from the cows, the milk is safe and it's available in good, uh, uh, it's available for uh, human consumption. First of all, we look at the cows that are being milked. The cows to be milked should be healthy cows. Whenever a cow has any sickness, it's advisable that that cow should not be milked. Any cow that is on treatment should not be milked until advised by the veterinary officer. Normally, cows that are on treatment should be milked after three days to allow the drugs that are within the body to be uh, removed from the, uh, from the cow. Another consideration is that the milking area should be clean. When uh, constructing a milking area, a farmer should put in place a number of considerations. First of all, the area should have good drainage to enable uh, the place to be easily washed and enable the place to remain clean at all times. Any uh, water and any uh, dirt that is collects at the milking area should be easily removed uh, from the area before a cow can be milked. This will prevent the milk to be contaminated by any dirt that will be around the milking area. The other consideration that needs to be looked at is the milk handler. For most smallholder farmers, milk, milking will be done through hand milking. And therefore, it is important for that person milking the, the cows to be very clean to ensure that the person has uh, in place a good um, attire to enable uh, him to uh, have a, a, a good uh, environment and also to milk the cows uh, as required. We also need that the milk handler be very clean and free from um, any disease uh, that will contaminate the milk uh, while handling. It's, in, it's advisable that the person milking the cows uh, to wash their hands and to make sure that uh, during the time of milking they clean their hands with a dry cloth before they start to milk the cow. Now let's talk about milk storage. After milking, milk should be stored in dry containers that will ensure the milk doesn't come in contact with any water or any uh, chemicals or any substance that are in the storage, milk storage containers. Uh, we advise that the farmers uh, keep the milking containers clean at all time and make sure that during the time uh, of uh, milking and after the containers are properly cleaned with the hot water to make sure that uh, all the bacteria and all other 
infections are, are removed from the containers. Uh, it's also important for the farmer to um, milk in a place that is dry and free from uh, heat to facilitate uh, the milk to stay safe for uh, six uh, hours before being sold to the uh, processor or before being sold out to uh, the consumers. It's important that that consideration is taken note of to ensure that the milk doesn't uh, get uh, infected or doesn't get contaminated before it gets to the market. The other important thing is on milk testing. In consideration of milk safety, it is always important for a farmer to check whether the milk produced from the cows is safe. And this involves milk testing. Milk testing should be done to establish whether, whether we have uh, bacteria in milk that will harm the consumer. And this is always done by using um, a milk testing strip to identify the level of bacteria that is in milk. And what is always uh, looked at is the level of somatic cell count. Milk infection and the high level of bacteria uh, in milk will highly inform the farmer of, on the possibilities of mastitis uh, being uh, infected on the cow. And therefore, a farmer should always make sure that they carry out uh, the tests after uh, three months to make sure that the milk that is coming from the cow is safe and can be consumed uh, by the consumer. It is always important for the farmer to maintain hygiene at all levels, starting from the cow to the point of production of milk, storage and transportation until it gets to the consumer. This will help the farmer make a good returns out of the sales and with self-milk, the farmer will be able to enjoy good sales out of the confidence that the farmers have on the quality of milk. Again, contaminated milk will always send away the, farm, the, the consumers because milk that has bad smell will always not be uh, uh, preferred by the consumer. And that is why milk safety and the process of milk, uh, milking should always be maintained uh, with all uh, possible uh, measures of hygiene in consideration. During milk testing, uh, small-scale farmers will need to, cons uh, to consider the advice of the veterinary officer or uh, the, the, the extension attendant who normally attends to them. And to get your milk tested, you can either buy the milk testing strip from the nearby agrovets or the nearby uh, veterinary shops, uh, but also you will seek the assistance of a veterinary officer to assist you to test the milk uh, at least in uh, every three months uh, during the lactation period of the cow.